All right, I'm going to give you a little demo from Istio. And it's actually the default demo you have in the Istio installation. So if you download Istio and get it installed with your Minikube, there's this little demo application. The cool thing about it is it's built with Python, Node, and Java. So it depends on the component. So you have these components in the system. You have the product page, the details, the reviews component. And then there's notice there's three versions of the reviews component. And then there's a ratings component. So each of those are already running as pods inside the architecture. They already have their sidecar proxy injected into them. Uh, and now you can manipulate the routes between them. Okay, so this is the services connecting service A to service B to service C. You can manipulate the service to service invocations based on Istio. And that's one of the more powerful aspects of it that you don't get in a default Kubernetes architecture. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and show you that. Okay, so let me shrink this up. I got this down here. There's an Istio CTL. Uh, get route rules. I don't have any route rules right now. If I do kubectl get services, you can see I have all these services. kubectl get pods, and then there's a bunch of pods here. So notice there are some pods that are part of the end user application, like the details. There's also the Istio in egress, ingress, mixer, pilot. These represent the Istio control backplane for managing all those different Envoy sidecars and all those different components. There's a product page, there's the ratings, reviews. So some pods are for running the infrastructure and some pods are for running the application itself. Uh, so that's what we have at this moment. So let's go look at the actual application. So if you see right here, this is, this is the user interface in action on top of it. And if you notice, as I hit refresh here, it's kind of random load balancing across uh, reviews with red stars, reviews with black stars, and reviews with zero stars, no stars. And the concept is that's version one, two, and three that are actually out there as pods already. So you can see those uh, review v1, review v2, review v3, those pods are already out there. And so by default, if there's a service, Kubernetes randomly load balances across them. Uh, and I have a script here to make my demo a little bit easier. So there are all the pods. Now let's actually mess with this a little bit. With Istio, when there's no route rules, which you saw that there are none, it just gets the default random load balancing you get in Kubernetes. But with Istio, we can basically inject into that sidecar a new route rule. As you can see here, Istio CTL create dash F. It's just a bit of YAML and it basically says everybody 100% weight goes to V1. So everybody goes to version one and that's the one without stars at all. And you can see now everybody's fixed on that. If I come over here now and go, everybody goes to version two, that's the one with black stars. So you can see everybody goes to black stars. And then if we go back here, we can basically say now everybody 100% weight to V3. So version three, everybody gets red stars. So that allows me to do some pretty fancy stuff. I can change the routing rules on the fly between the services. So as a microservice calls A, microservice calls microservice B, you can kind of see the different results there. Now let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's go back to version two, back to black stars for everybody. And what we're gonna do now, because this is a common question I get is, or at least a, a, a an idea that I, was, I received from a user that I thought was pretty interesting is I want to do canary deployments. I want to do some form of A-B testing or canary deployments, but I don't want to uh, float that canary, if you will, to all my users yet. I want the canary, the test version, to only go to employees first. In other words, let's make my employees suffer and let them kind of test it and eyeball it before rolling it out to the general user population. I thought that was a super cool idea. So in here, we've kind of made that happen. So the next option is to basically say, let's all... Uh, look at user burr, right? User burr goes to version three. So all users not signed in, not employees are going to black. If I log in here now as burr, okay, oh, it helps if you spell it correctly. My own name, there we go, and get the right password. And you can see they, burr gets red stars. So that's actually pretty neat. I can kind of go back and forth if I sign out now. All my users are getting version two but only employees, let's say, are getting version three. Uh, yeah, let's see here, okay. And then you can get any more sophisticated, you can actually inject faults into it. In this case, change the route rule now, so it's just for Burr, they get version three, uh, but there's a fixed delay of seven seconds. And so if you've been practicing microservices, you know that latency from service A to service B can really mess you up, and you have the concept of circuit breakers, and all sorts of things in there. This little application doesn't have any circuit breakers built into it by default. Uh, so it basically is just from service A calling service B and then has a timeout associated with it. And if we inject a longer timeout, a delay in the network invocation, you can see that the system technically fails. So we can see that in this case, Burr, um, the logged in user, is trying to call three 
but it fails. There's no product reviews available. So that allows you to stress test your system a little bit from injecting faults and then seeing how the system behaves. Again, if I log out here, all my previous non-connected, non-logged in users just see Blackstars version two. And so, and then I can clean all this up and delete all the route rules. So Istio, CTO, uh, CTL, get route rules. You can kind of see they're all gone now. So that's super awesome. So now it behaves kind of random load balancing again. And then even if I sign in here as Burr again, uh, that user will also get random load balancing back across the generic uh, uh, Kubernetes pods that are out there. Okay, so kubectl, uh, kubectl, get pods. Okay, again, this is the standard demo that comes with uh, Istio when you download and install it, but it works perfectly on a mini cube architecture that I have installed here. Uh, and there'll be more research to be done in this category because this is a super cool way of thinking, a, a, a super cool capability at this point. So and this is just a slide that kind of shows you a diagram of what's going on here. So the Envoy sidecar added to each pod. Keep in mind a pod can have multi, more than one container. And then basically you're intercepting traffic and changing the routing logic uh, across those sidecars and managing it with a common backplane here with Istio. Thank you so much.